Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we will see how to implement Kafka in real time with a live demo. And then understanding this kind of architecture for Kafka will be much more easier after we know how this actually is internally working. So let's go and create a live demo first of how we can create producers, how we can create consumers, how to create end-to-end -end configuration for Kafka and then let's understand how this actually works internally. So let's get started. Please like, share and subscribe to support us and we are setting a like target of 500 likes. For implementation of Kafka, the very first thing we need is we need Zookeeper and Kafka installed for, our, for us. Now, since we are running all this in local and we are not using Docker at all, we will be installing all of these things in the local first. And then later on, when we are good with the basic demo for the Kafka, the producers and consumers, we will move to Docker later on after this much is clear to us. So for installing the Kafka and Zookeeper, the link is here and this will also be given in the description below. Just go ahead and install Kafka from this particular link, Scala 2.12 and you will have an inbuilt Zookeeper already installed with the Kafka. Now I have this already installed, so I've installed it in the software package. If you can see in the bin, you can see with Kafka you have Zookeeper already installed. So once you have done this particular step of installing the Zookeeper and Kafka, just by downloading it from here and extracting it at some folder location, you are good to go with the start of the Spring Boot project creation for Kafka. So the project setup for Kafka is we need a Spring Boot project. Then we need a Kafka dependency with the web dependency. Then we need a controller to fetch the message from a client. So we are going to create an architecture where there will be a producer, where there will be a consumer and in between will be a Kafka topic. Topics are also called as brokers and brokers have internal partitions. So we need to produce something and that producing message I'll be taking from the REST API from the client. So there will be a third party client who wants to send some data to the consumer. So he'll hit the REST API the REST API will contact producer and give that message to the producer. Producer will produce that message in the topic or the broker and that will be subscribed by the consumer and consumer will pick it. So what we need is a, uh, as a wholesome, then we need a Spring Boot project to have the producer, consumer and Kafka into it. Secondly, in the Spring Boot project, we need a REST controller, which will act as an interface between the client and the producer. So the task of that, REST API will be to take the message from the client and send it to producer. Producer will send that message to the broker and then we need a consumer who will subscribe to that broker. So first thing REST API, second we need a producer, third we need a consumer and fourth we need the configuration settings for the Kafka imp implementation. So you need a controller REST API, you need a producer who push the message to the topic, you need a consumer to listen and subscribe to it. Next you need the properties file to have the configuration for the Kafka. At last, when everything is done, you need to run first the Zookeeper, then you need to run the Kafka server. And then if you try to hit something, it, you will be able to send that message from producer to consumer. So let's get started with a quick demo. Let's quickly create a new Spring Starter project. I can name it as Kafka Demo. So this is a demo project for Kafka implementation. Let's go to next and let's have the Spring Web as the dependency and Kafka as a dependency. We are not using streams. After a few videos, when we are good with the streams, we'll also create a video on streams and how to create streams and what all API they have added for the streams. So currently we have Kafka and Web and let's finish it. So we have Kafka demo project almost ready with this. This is the main class which will run. Now what we need is a controller. So we'll create a package for controller and a class REST endpoint for Kafka message. Here this is a REST controller. So we will be annotating it with REST controller. Here we need a get mapping, get message from client. It will have a request parameter. I'll say, say it as message. And it will be of type string. We'll have a request mapping here, which will identify this controller uniquely. So it's an API for REST. So this is basically a REST API. 
in the get mapping we'll have say a unique name as producer message so this this message is going to be a message for producer so whatever you give as a request parameter here will be a message for the producer to send to the topic now our controller is ready but we need a producer to produce the message to the topic this is a task with some kind of business logic into it right so we need a service package that service package will have two services a producer service and consumer service and similarly we will have a consumer service now producer service will be annotated with at this it service because bean should be created for this and similarly consumer should also be a service with this in place we need to send something to kafka right so we need a kafka template and it's going to have two parameters first parameter will be the name of the topic and second will be the message so the name of the topic will be in the for sure will be a type string and similarly the value will be also the string and i'll name it as kafka template and i'm going to auto wire it with this we have a simple method name as public void send message to topic and it will have string message as a parameter and simple the kafka template will be used to send the message to the topic so it will have two parameters the name of the topic so you have to first decide the name of the topic so let's make the name of the topic as code decode underscore topic fine and let's send the message to the topic so i can say my producer is ready my producer is also a bean it has auto wired as kafka template and kafka template is capable enough to send my message to the newly created topic great the now the producer is ready so in the controller what we can do is we can auto wire this producer and you can use this producer to send message to the topic with the message that you will receive from the client so this step is going to be hit by the client it will give you a message in the request parameter itself as a get get request you are going to get that message and send it to the topic to the producer which we have recently created so this this top producer is going to call the kafka template send method which will internally send this message that you are sending as a parameter to the topic created as with this name now this is all good we have the producer ready we have our controller ready but we need a consumer also right so consumer will be something who will listen listen to your kafka topic so there will be a method public void listen to topic and it will have string message which it will read or consume from the topic so this will be a received message and i'm going to just simply going to print it great but this method has to be annotated with something which will make it capable enough to read or listen to the messages from a topic or which will make this class capable enough to be a subscriber to a topic so we will have an annotation called as kafka listener this kafka listener is going to make this class or this method capable enough to be a kafka listener or a consumer to the kafka topic but it needs two things that is topic so basically you can have multiple topics to be listened to so this is basically an array of topics you can listen to i have one single topic here what what topic we have this is code decode topic which we have created so single topic is going to be listened and subscribed to and a group id this is very important because this kafka is made to be fault tolerant and scalable now if you have hundreds of consumers listening to a single topic it is for scalability internally divided into multiple partitions now each partition is nothing but a replica of some data to reduce the load from one single partition the task of this group id is to group these consumers into groups so that the load can be balanced in these broker and not c1 c2 and c3 should not go and read from just first partition and bombard this first partition with multiple requests to read rather c1 should read from first partition c2 should read from second c3 from the third and so on to make it load balanced the consumers are grouped with the group id 
So if you have C1, C2 and C3 in the same group, say code decode group, then the data will be load balanced between C1 and C2 so that you do not bombard with the pull request for the data on this topic. Each consumer will read from a separate partition and this particular partitions are equally balanced between all the consumers in a particular group. So this is why this group ID is very important. The group ID here is going to be, say suppose code decode group. Now our Kafka listener is ready. Our Kafka producer is ready. Our REST endpoint is ready. When all these things are ready, we need configuration for Kafka implementation, right? So in the main resources, we will be creating a new file named as application.yaml. You can also do that in properties file, but for the simplicity, I use this YAML file. In 9092, this is for the Kafka default server port. Now, whenever we send a message from a producer through a template to a topic, it has to be serialized. That is, the string has to convert it into the type of bytes. Now, how to serialize the message and the value, the keys and the values, to send it to the particular topic is through serialization and deserialization. So I'm denoting that both the type of key and value serialization should be of string serialization because I want to convert a string to type of byte so that it can be sent to the topic to the consumer at the end. These are nothing but the type of serializations we are using for conversion of your message to bytes so that it can be moved from producer to consumer through the topic. Oh great, we have the Kafka configuration ready. We have the producer ready. We have the consumer ready. We have the controller ready. Let's, what are we waiting for? Let's run it and let's see some exception will for sure happen. Why? Because we have not started the zookeeper and the Kafka on the local system. So see, we get an exception. Broker, bootstrap broker 9092, it is disconnected, cannot establish the connection. So how do you establish a connection? Go here and open the CMD. Here, I'm going to give you two commands. First is to run zookeeper. Second is to run Kafka. Both will be given in the description below. For zookeeper, this is the command that at, win, at the windows, start the bat for zookeeper server and get the properties from the config folder zookeeper.properties file. This will run the zookeeper for us now. And after that, we should run one more command to run the Kafka. Now, this is the command to run the Kafka. So, in the same folder, if you can go here, you can see in the bin folder, you have a zookeeper start server.bat and also the Kafka server start.bat. So, we are starting the Kafka server and we are also starting the zookeeper server. So you can see this was the zookeeper start server. Similarly, we need the Kafka server to be started and also get the properties for the server from this properties file. So the Kafka is running for us and it was able to find group has one member. So let's go and see. We were fa facing issue of connection error, could not be established, could not be established. As soon as we started our application, zookeeper and Kafka, it says successfully joined the group and the group name is something which we have created, code decode group. It says successfully sync, adding the assigned partition to the topic. The topic name which we have created was code decode topic, right? What was the topic name? Code decode topic. Can you see that code decode topic here? And the partition is also added for that. This proves that our Kafka is now up and running. We have successfully started the Kafka server and the Zookeeper server. Now let's try and hit this controller with the REST API producer message. So it should be the localhost 8080 because we are running on local REST API producer message. REST API producer message and the request parameter should be message. And that message should be Congrats for first Kafka IMPL and hit. Congrats for the first Kafka IMPL. So our console successfully says the message is received. This message is received by the consumer who is going to listen to this topic. The topic I have already shown you in the previous console that the topic was ready. So what happened here was the producer was called with this particular REST API. You hit this REST API producer message with this message congrats so this congrats message comes here 
the producer is called to send this message to the topic when you go to the producer send message to topic method a kafka template is used to send this message congrats for the first kafka im implementation to code decode topic in the console in the previous seconds we have seen this topic was ready with one partition as 0th index as soon as the topic has the message it has a listener available the listener was this consumer who was a kafka listener for this topic in this code decode group that i have already shown in the console also it listened to that particular received message and it prints the message is received that is the received message is this so this was the whole flow of this particular project this project is already been uploaded in this particular git location github code decode 25 kafka src and everything is available here you can take a reference from here while creating if you find any issues you can always refer to this particular public repository for which we have created for you now with all these things in place you have all these steps that you have done you have created a kafka dependency in form you have created a controller you have a producer which is a service who is going to publish to the topic you have a consumer who is going to listen to the topic you have created some property changes all of these property changes will be present here in application.properties file in this main resources you can find find this application.yaml file then at at going to the location we have unzipped where in the first step we have unzipped kafka you have started the zookeeper server and the kafka server at this and then you hit with this particular message now what all we have done is we must have the zookeeper for kafka zookeeper performs many tasks for kafka but basically zookeeper manages the kafka cluster by default kafka service started at 9092 and the zookeeper started at 2181 that will be already that i'll show in the next part where these configurations you can see that we have already seen a config folder there all these configurations are there now group id have already told you consumers in kafka divided into multiple groups and each group is identified uniquely by the group id the consumers belong to the same group share the group id so the topic partitions are load balanced fairly between them the consumers in a group that divides the partitions fairly among themselves as fairly as possible to establish that each partition is only consumed by single consumer from the group so that they will not hit multiple consumers at a time to a single partition and bombard and heavily load that partition not to do that each partition is going to be consumed by only single consumer from that single group in kafka template i have already told you that is used to send message we have used kafka template here the send method is used the first parameter is a topic name second is the message that you want to send to that topic so all you need to do is the send method is called with the topic name and message in order to prepare the message for transmission the producer to the broker we use serialization i have already told you why we use serialization and deserialization because we need to send data in the bytes in the topic so you have to convert your string to bytes and then deserialize bytes to string so as to receive that from the topic so that is why you need the string serializer that we have already created as a configuration part in the properties file now we have many more questions how to change the zookeeper fault default port number 2181 and how to change the kafka port number that is 9092 and what are the terminologies and architecture of kafka what is zookeeper why is it actually used how is cluster divided into multiple partitions and many many more things and for that we'll be meeting in the next video just let me know in the comment section if we can continue with the series thank you